Welcome back to glycogenolysis in biochemistry. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. I particularly like this this setup right here that we have because it's a pretty good summary of all of glycogenolysis and how it ties into other pathways. We start with our polymer of glycogen right here, which remember are repeating units of glucose monomers. Then through the process of glycogenolysis, which is shown by this arrow, and remember that the enzyme that catalyzes the main reaction is glycogen phosphorylase, we cleave off repeating units of glucose as glucose 1-phosphate. So notice one thing. The phosphate is right here. It's on the 1 position of glucose. That's glucose 1-phosphate. But now remember glycolysis. Glycolysis does not directly use glucose 1-phosphate. It uses glucose 6-phosphate, so we have a problem. The glucose 1-phosphate really isn't any use to us. We need to isomerize it. And because we're going to translocate the phosphate up here to the 6th position, we're going to use an enzyme that would be a mutase. And specifically, this mutase is phosphoglucomutase. So phosphoglucomutase reversibly converts glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate. This glucose 6-phosphate can then go through glycolysis, which is a pathway that we've covered already, and ultimately be converted into two molecules of pyruvate. And then, as we know, there's metabolic pathways for that. That goes into the TCA cycle in the mitochondria, and then those metabolites get shunted into the electron transport chain, Yada, 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 we know all of that at this point, okay? But the point is, glycogen removes units of glucose as glucose 1-phosphate. They're useless to us, or at least to glycolysis, that is, and so they have to be mutated or isomerized to glucose 6-phosphate so that they can be used directly by glycolysis. And that isomerization is done by phosphoglucomutase. Now, one thing I won't really go over so much now but I will do it in another video when we talk about the reverse process of glycogen synthesis or glycogenesis, is we would want to make glycogen. And again, we're going to have to do it through glucose 1-phosphate. And if we want to make glucose 1-phosphate, we're going to take glucose 6-phosphate and convert it back to glucose 1-phosphate. It's very important to understand that this enzyme, phosphoglucomutase, is reversible. When we run from glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate, that's the direction of glycogenolysis. When we run the reverse direction from glucose 6-phosphate to glucose 1-phosphate, that's the glycogenesis direction. And it turns out that those are allosterically and covalently controlled. The cell knows what it needs to do at any given time. And we'll talk more about that in another video. So hopefully this kind of brought everything together, how we get glucose from glycogen into glycolysis. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.